Hello and welcome to you all dear friends. As always, I hope you are very well. Today, we are going to check out The Wash by Hungry Robot Pedals. So I've become incredibly fond of this pedal over the months that I have owned it. It is an incredible sounding thing. So we'll go through step by step in terms of dialing in a tone, kind of using the instructions that the manufacturer actually provides. And then we'll go in and dial in some more sort of advanced tones using some other stuff on my board to really put it through its paces and see what it can do. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using this Shub Guitars Custom, which is a dual humbucker setup. It's got five way switching as well, so I'll be using a variety of different pickups. And I'm using my 11 rack on a mostly clean setting. Think a kind of matchless slash Vox 2x12 combo kind of vibe. Without any effects, here's how it sounds. So the folks at Hungry Robot have quite aptly named this pedal in that switching this thing on gives you an ambient wash to whatever you play. It doesn't go to 100% wet like other reverbs may do. That is no doubt by design and I guess it makes sense and it sort of fits the brief in terms of what this pedal is intended to do. It's probably best to think of this pedal in two separate halves. There's the delay side and the wash side and they of course interact to give you this thing called the wash. But we'll go through each of the controls and we'll see how they operate. Really quickly, it's worth noting that I've got the manual time mode version of this pedal. It does also come in a tap tempo, but for my purposes, I wanted to get the manual one and save a little bit of money. So because it's designed in sort of two halves, the delay will work on its own, independent of the wash side. We've got mix and repeats, which I'm sure you'll be familiar with from other pedals. So I'll roll those in and we'll see what we get. So here we are with the delay rolled in. So that in its own right sounds really beautiful and lush in its own right, even without the wash side of things engaged. So that really nice chewy analog thing going on. So now that the delay side of things is engaged, we'll roll in the wash, which is the main knob in the center, which is the overall wash volume. I'll introduce some of the ripple knob as well, which as I understand dictates how quickly the delay gets mushed into the reverb slash wash circuit which is quite an integral overall part of how this thing works. So we'll put it in a couple of different positions and we'll sort of see what we like. So here's what we've got now. And so for some point of comparison, I'll roll in some more of the ripple. And finally, we've got the resonance knob, which sort of dictates how long the decay of the wash lasts overall. Again, we'll roll it in on a couple of different settings and we'll see how we like it. So now maybe we'll really try to push this thing by introducing more of the wash circuit and more resonance and see how hairy we can get it going. So as you can hear, it's quite a versatile thing and I really, really love messing around with it. I've now got it dialed in though to approximately where I like to have it most of the time because I really love combining this thing with other pedals. For example, I'm gonna throw in another reverb 
after it, specifically the Supermoon from Mr. Black, and we'll see what we get from there. It's now that we get into some really super lush territory. effect I'd really like to demonstrate quickly for you is using the Reverb X by Ranger effects in front of this thing, specifically because it's got a noise gate which kills its own reverb, but I really love how the wash interacts with that and exaggerates the remaining reverb signal once the Reverb X cuts off. It's another really unique effect and just sort of demonstrates the overall versatility and sort of plug and play ability that this thing has because I've yet to find a place, at least in the realms of sort of ambient and atmospheric music, where this thing can't work. It's just brilliant. It's a brilliant addition to almost any ambient setup, in my opinion. There you have it, my friends, the wash from Hungry Robot. I would certainly recommend giving this thing a try if you're into ambient and atmospheric playing in similar veins to how I've demonstrated now. Even if you're after some extra sort of girth or width in your sound, then as designed, this pedal will give you that extra wash or undertow just to give you some extra oomph and some extra sounding like outer space effects. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll do my best to lend you a hand. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you really enjoyed it and of course subscribe if you would like to see more content like this in the future. For now, I'm going to leave it here. I hope to see you again in the next one. Catch you later.